Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my express warm up. It's called an express warm up simply because I am always running 10 minutes behind. If you know me, you know that my clock is 10 minutes slower than your clock. It's just the way I am. I've always been like it. My coaches have always hated me for it. Running to the gym halfway through a session. Having to get one that we have faster has been my thing. So, I work my way from the ground up. It's the best way to remember where you are. If you've got a, bit of, a few different exercises lined up and they're all jumbled in different body parts, it's a bit hard to remember. The way I'm going to show you is easy to remember. So, you're going to start from the ground on your legs, to your knees, to your lower back, right up to your core and shoulders, neck, and you're ready to go. All right, so once I have for three minutes, it's only one round, three minutes is enough. If you do it right, there's no need to go to the gym and stand on a treadmill for three minutes and just walk. Just watching the gym stand still. That's not a good one up. I haven't guilty of it myself, I've made my plans to do it in the past. Realistically, this is much better for you. So, watch it, see how you go. Start the timer here, three minutes. We want to start off with leg swings. As simple as it sounds, swing your leg, right up in front of you, up here, just like that. It's legs, up, 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 good. I'll show you this angle too. Your next swing is done. This is the most important one for me. If you've ever had a bad knee, dodge knee injury, this is the way to do it. Feet together, knees touching. I would grab on just for better stabilization. Want to roll around. Get a full circle, circular motion with your knees. You may get a few big cracks here, like I always do. This is important to get enough. Synovial fluid around your joints, that's basically lubrication for your joints. That's how we get warmed up, that's what we do it for. Get enough in there, sudden movements won't injure you. Quite simple. When you've got enough limb done, lower back time to stretch out. Stand here, up straight, you want to walk yourself to the floor. As you walk down, here, swim in. Push away the ground, chest up, hips to the floor. Turn around, hold that for a few seconds, look the opposite way, don't fall off this, don't fall, walk back up, get to the top, stretch it right out again, reach for the sky, good, once you've got that lower back done a little bit more and you feel like it's not taking more, get a few sprawls done, just here, look, up, Always good to stretch the lower back out. You finish that, you want to just bend over to the toes, a bit more in the lower back or, and the uh, hamstrings. Touch your toes from here, right down, Hup. stand up straight, touch. Try to keep your knees straight for this one. Try to keep your legs all out there. When you've got them done with the windmills, arms straight, front to back. Once you get about 10 eights back front, then that'll do. You have about 20 seconds left at this point. Just to loosen up, hands up, we got a shadow boxing. Bang, bang. That's the timer done. It's three minutes. Let me tell you something. I feel a hell of a lot better than what I did when I started this video. And that was only three minutes ago. <clears throat> if you've got any injuries that are present or still niggling from the past, spend a little extra time on that area. Now I get away with just doing these ones with my knee. Yeah. But for a long time, I had to do a little bit extra. Spend a little bit more time on it just to make sure it wasn't getting injured again. You don't want to get injured and get sat back. So make sure all your joints are well warmed up 
There's nothing worse than doing amazing your training, feeling class, getting a lot of hard work done, and then all of a sudden something really fucking stupid injures you and puts you out for a few weeks. There's nothing more disheartening. Trust me, I know. I have fucked my body up so many times. So this one up, things like this are essential. Tomorrow I'll put a video in of how to cool it down. And I have a couple of stretches for after the workout. Stay tuned for that. Hit subscribe. Thank you very much.